Hi there, Kate Luber here. I'm going to take a few minutes to show you one of my favorite tools in Photoshop. It's called the Color Replacement Tool, and I think it's one of the unsung heroes of Photoshop. Um, you can find it right underneath your regular brush tool. If you right click, it's in the options here, so you go to Color Replacement Tool. And I'm going to take a few minutes and show you three ways that I often use this tool. So the first thing that I do is I'm going to duplicate my layer because I don't want to make any permanent changes on the background layer. I want to leave it just as is. So I'm going to duplicate it. You can right click and duplicate or you can hit Control J and that's going to make a copy of your layer. So here I dyed her tights yellow. She's Hey Hey from Moana, if you can't tell. Um, but the dye didn't quite take. I didn't quite have enough time. So I want to make them a little bit more yellow. So the color replacement tool works a lot like the clone stamp in that you're going to hold down the alt button to sample your source and I'm going to pick this yellow up here and you can see it changes right here. Um, you can also pick out of your swatches if you want to do that um, but if you're trying to match a color hit alt and sample a color and then all you do is paint over those areas. And if you have the latest one, it's pretty good um, with edge detection, so you don't have to worry too much about the edges unless the colors around are um, similar. So it's pretty intuitive, but you can always, if it doesn't work out, because we've made a new layer, see I went a little bit over there, so we're going to zoom in here in just a second. We're going to zoom in, and because I've made it on its own layer, then all we do is we add a layer mask, and I go back to my regular brush tool on black and I'm just going to mask that off and clean up that edge. And if the effect is too strong for you, then all you have to do is lower the opacity of that mask. So that's how I, um, a lot of the times if I've got um, a dress on with a bow that doesn't quite match, I will sample the color on the dress and then I will paint the bow to match. Another way I do it um, is I use it to get rid of color casts or um, in this case it's a really warm light and then a really cool light um, caused by golden hour. I'm going to duplicate my layer again and I'm going to get my color replacement brush. I'm going to find a kind of a neutral color. So over here we've got really warm and over here we've got really cool. So I need to find something that's kind of in the middle. So it's going to be right kind of where the shadow and um, the light meets. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this color right in front here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over her and you can see how that's automatically cooling her off. One of the great things about using this for color casts is this doesn't paint over like just a paintbrush. It changes the color so it retains all of your texture. So you don't have to worry about losing the texture of the skin. It's just going to change the hue. And you can see how as I'm going over here it starts warming up because it's painting all one color. I'm going to go a little bit quickly so this might not be as precise as I normally do. But I just want to make sure you kind of get the idea of how this does and you can see how much it cooled off over there and how much it's warming up over here. And obviously this is not terribly realistic is it because we've got now really warm skin in the shadows. So we are going to reduce the opacity of this in just a minute but I want to get everything painted on first. Don't go over lips. We don't want weird colored lips. Because now, in addition to changing the colors to be something not terribly realistic, we've also just kind of made her flat in one color, so we kind of lose some of the dimension. So whenever we do this, I always make sure to reduce the opacity, even if I'm reducing a color cast. Um, I'm not going to pull it 100% away in almost all cases. And we've backed this off to, I'm at 35% now. And you can see it's warmed up here and it's cooled this down. So if I turn that layer off, you can see the change, but it still looks realistic. Um, but her skin tone is just a little softer and a little bit um, more pleasant. So I do this a lot for, um, for color casts on skin. 
as well as um, warming up shadows on skin or any areas that are just a little bit off. I find the best part of the skin and sample that and then paint it on your problem areas. And then the last way, not necessarily the last way, but the last one I'm going to show you today. The last way I use it is to hide things. So we've got this reflection of this mailbox here. And I mean, it's not the worst. It's not the end of the world, not the worst thing, but I just don't love it. So I'm going to hide it. I'm going to duplicate my layer and I'm going to sample this green and then I'm just going to paint over the mailbox and it disappears without me having to clone around all of these water splashes. Just hide it by changing the color. And I got a little bit on the water droplets. And if that is a problem, then we've got our separate layer. So we just go back to the brush tool on black and we mask off those little spots where it shouldn't be. But then it's hidden. Um, and then if you want to a little bit more, you can merge those layers, make another copy, and you can either use your healing tools um, or your clone stamp and just kind of soften those edges. But now, instead of having to clone out the whole thing, all we're really having to do is hide the edges. Um, we've already hidden the bulk of the mailbox, and then all we have to do is clean up those edges, and then the mailbox is gone. So it's an easy way to hide things. Um, and make your cloning job easier, or sometimes you don't even have to clone at all. So those are three ways I use the um, color replacement tool. It's one of my favorite things. I encourage you to find other uses for it and other ways you can play around with it and make your life easier. There you go. Thanks. Bye.